6.23 a.m. It kind of feels wrong to be up and awake and ready so early. Usually, I also do yoga and have a shower, but I hurt my shoulder. So, we're taking it easy for today. So, I have to plan my whole day. I have a lot of admin to start with today. And I want to make today an Italian learning day because... Yesterday, I had my first ever proper Italian class, like speaking class, and it motivated me so much because I messed up so many times, which is normal because it was my first class. But yeah, today is going to be an Italian day, but we're going to first start with some little admin things so I can get them off my mind and not think about Because I was dreaming about some of these admin tasks. I kid you not. There were some texts I have to reply to and it was in my dreams. I was replying to the text in my dreams. So I need to get that done so that I'm not thinking about it. Okay, I just finished my admin. It took me about an hour. I am gonna start Italian now, but I'm kind of hungry. So we're gonna start with making breakfast and I'm gonna be watching some Netflix because Basically, I started re-watching Baby again, which is an Italian TV series, TV series? Show? <laughs> Wait, why did I say it so weirdly? Anyway, I watched it before, I'm re-watching it now, but now I'm watching it on LingoPie, so I have the Italian and English subtitles, and I also click on the words I don't know. And I'm on episode three, and it's taking me so much longer to watch because obviously, like, I'm trying to actually take in all the subtitles and, you know, notice all the things I don't know and I do know. But I'm learning so much, honestly. The first time I watched it, I just watched it with English subtitles and I literally picked up zero Italian. But watching it with both, I'm picking up so much right now. So I'm gonna be making my breakfast, watching baby, starting the little Italian study block. So yeah, turning on my Italian for the day. I watched an episode of baby i reviewed my flashcards it's honestly been very useful to watch the show because there's a few vocab words that i learned on memorize and i was like i don't feel like people use that for example there's a word that's like bo and on memorize it said that it meant i don't know and i was like i cannot imagine people saying this out loud like i cannot imagine people saying bo but they say it quite a lot i mean i don't know if in real life people say it a lot but i feel like if in a netflix show that's quite recent and modern they say it a lot i'm guessing in real life people also say that and then also for example i learned vabe which is like almost the same as va bene i know it comes from there but I feel like it's such a slang type of thing. Maybe not, I don't know. But I wouldn't have learned that if I wasn't watching the show. And I mean, in general, I'm just learning so many random sentences like Ma che cazzo fai? Like, memorize wouldn't teach me that. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I had a lesson yesterday. I had my first Italian real life lesson. And during the lesson, there was a few words I didn't know. So my teacher wrote them in chat while we were having the class. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna quickly make flashcards with those words. And then I think I'm gonna do like a five to 10 minute talking practice, even though I can't really talk in Italian for that long. But you know, the words will come out in the silence. I'm gonna know what I'm missing and what I should write down. This is honestly one of my favorite things to practice recently, like speaking and just figuring out what you don't know through that. I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now, before we continue with the Italian learning, I wanna tell you guys about today's sponsor, LingoPi. So if you've never heard of LingoPi before, it is the website I was using earlier on the video like to watch Netflix with. But basically it's a video on demand platform for language learners where you can watch TV shows, movies, you can listen to songs, you can basically learn through consuming content. So for me right now, as I'm studying Italian, this is genuinely one of my main resources that I'm using because Italian has a lot of similarities with Spanish. So I feel like if I consume a lot of Italian, it's easier for me to learn 
learn. So basically how it works is they have a lot of TV shows, they have a lot of movies where you can watch it in your target language and you can have the subtitles both in English and in your target language. So for example, I'm watching this TV show called Baby and I have the subtitles both in Italian and in English. And if you don't know a word, you just click on the word. It will then just give you all the details of what that word means, all the details like is it an adverb, is it an adjective, I don't know, whatever. And automatically it saves it into a flashcard deck which you can then review and like play games with after watching the show. So this is incredible because it literally cuts out the middleman of having to like watch a show, pause it, write down the word, look up the word, look up if that definition is even correct. Then you have to make flashcards. Whereas here it's just all done very automatically and it just cuts out that whole middle process. You just watch, press, learn. <laughs> like it is very simple. So before I always refer to Lingopi as like the Netflix for language learners. But the amazing thing is now they have Netflix shows and Netflix movies, which is how I'm watching Baby, which is a Netflix original. And it has been amazing. Like I get to binge watch shows and learn. Like So the languages they have available are Italian, Japanese, Korean, Russian, Portuguese, German, French, and Spanish. But yeah, it is incredible. I highly recommend. All the links will be in the description. Thank you Lingapai for sponsoring. You guys make an amazing product and you're literally teaching me Italian. Okay, I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and I'm gonna pretend I'm introducing myself to someone in Italian and anything that I'm missing, we're gonna write down here. But um, I love this exercise, I can't stop doing it recently. But okay, I'm gonna start, five minutes, we can do it. I cannot wait for the future when I can make a sentence that's longer than 10 words. <laughs> Or even five would be nice. I need to work on the present progressive. I need to work on the present tense of the irregular verbs because it's so simple and I still don't know it. So maybe we'll do that later today. But right now I need to do some work. I need to film a video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mentally prep myself and <laughs> film this video. I've been putting off this video for months. Not this video. But the video that I'm about to film is basically talking about my experience at Wim Hof's expedition. I did it back in February and I don't know why I put off this video because there's so many details and I'm like, I don't want to miss out on anything. So I just got overwhelmed with filming it, but I'm going to finally do it today and you guys are going to watch me do it. I can't, I can't back down. We can't, we can't back down. I hope you get the reference. I really hope you get the reference. Um, okay, we're going to do it. I gave myself a whole one and a half, nah, English is free. I gave myself a whole one and a half hour block, so I better do it. I am ready to film. I have so many notes to go through and I'm intimidated because I've tried to film this video three times now or four times now. So hopefully it works well today. It's gonna, I'm gonna feel so proud if I'm able to film this because I've been literally putting this video off for months like four months, but I want to film it. Anyway, let's start. Two hours later. Okay, I'm not kidding. That took me like almost two hours to film that video. It's gonna be so long. I feel like it's gonna be at least an hour and a half, but honestly, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I filmed it and it worked. And I think I told the story, like not the story, but my experience exactly how I wanted to. So I'm very proud of myself right now, but I'm tired now. <laughs> I feel like I need to go outside. I'm glad I filmed that. I hope somebody watches it because it's for sure probably going to be like about an hour and a half long. But I don't care. I'm not cutting it down. I don't want to cut out my experience, you know. Okay, so I'm at the big bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm at the beach. This beach is literally like 10 minutes away from me. It's like a little tiny one. I'm right beside the water. I have my little place set up here. I think what I'm going to do honestly is like do a lingo and memorize. Like I just want some chill Italian. Like I just want to feel like I'm playing a game. So that's what we're going to do. I'm like grounding my feet are in the sand. This helps me with my sleeping schedule because whenever I ground, I always go to sleep like a baby. So we grounding. The sounds of the waves make me so happy. I only realized today that I only have like five full days living here left and I'm so sad about it. Like this place is very remote and there's like no people and it's very inconvenient to go grocery shopping and stuff. But like being five to ten minutes away from the beach and being able to just come and just sit and do what I was going to do in the house but do it outside with the sounds of the waves and like 
the feeling of the sun is just so nice. I'm taking advantage of it now, so I'm making it a thing that every single day I watch the sunrise. Oh no no sorry sorry sorry. Every single night I watch the sunset because like I said it's very close to my home so once the sun sets I can quickly get into my house before it's dark. I mean not that anything would happen after it's dark because there's no people here so it's not dangerous at all but yeah. Let me go see what the water is like. It's probably freezing. We're gonna go in deeper. Ooh, that's so refreshing though. Wait, I'm gonna go in deeper. <laughs> oh, I love it here. Okay, so I have my pesto pasta. I have my tomatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly eat my dinner and then I'm gonna go back out because basically I when I was out now I was just doing Duolingo. I was doing memorize. I was just doing Italian But like I just wanted to kind of play it in a game form I know that Duolingo doesn't help you like an incredible amount But honestly, I still learn a good amount from it and if it's fun, that's all that matters I was doing some Duolingo, but I'm actually after I eat I'm gonna go back out because Next week or in a few days. I actually don't know. I have to double check but I'm gonna be starting psychosomatic coaching slash therapy, which I don't even know how to explain, but um, in my upcoming videos, I'll talk more about it because like I haven't actually done a session yet, but the girl I'm gonna be working with basically sent me a list of kind of questions and things I have to like reflect about and answer so that I have a clear vision of where I'm starting and where I want to go so she can specifically set a plan to like help me basically as like summary psychosomatic means that it's like something you're okay I don't know how to describe it it's something you're like keeping within your body so psychosomatic therapy basically says that a lot of personal blocks you have like I don't know if if I'm feeling a little bit more socially anxious than I want to be or I don't know I have like blocks that keep coming up that prevent me from living like my dream life you can work through them a lot quicker than you can with traditional therapy I don't know there's different opinions but I do believe in that because I think those type of things can be worked through very quickly but anyway that's what I'm gonna be trying out and I think it's gonna be nice to do that at the beach because it's gonna be like a very reflective mood like sunset ocean waves no why do i keep saying ocean it is not the ocean it is the sea ocean wave oh my god wait oh. sea wave how should i make this okay um it's just gonna be a nice atmosphere so even though i just came from there to make dinner i'm gonna go back out soon and i'm gonna journal i'm excited i'm gonna let you know how that goes in later vlogs because obviously today like i'm not actually having a session i'm just reflecting and like setting my point a like my before yeah another super random thing I don't know why I want to give you an update on my language learning and like what I'm in the mood for right now basically I am deep in my Italian learning right now as you can tell because I'm in Italy and honestly I'm in that moment where it's like I just want to eat breathe live Italian like I want Italian to be like my number one focus right now and I'm not that actively studying any other languages right now like once in a while I'll do Spanish or like I'll watch a Spanish movie or do some vocab but right now my primary focus is Italian but today I had the urge to start a new language and that language is Dutch which is very random because Dutch is one of the languages I want to learn but when there's like a list of all the languages I want to learn Dutch would probably be like the fifth on the list but for some reason i have the urge today i was like really holding myself back i was like i want to study dutch and that's probably just because i have a creator that i'm obsessed with and she posts a lot of vlogs in dutch like she used to make content only in english but then she started making more content in dutch and i'm just like i want to understand what you're saying but i had to hold myself back because what i realized is that for me there's been so many times where i start learning a language and then the beginner's excitement passes and for me like it passes very quickly i think i like changing things up very quickly and like yeah that's fine it's fun and i'm all for learning multiple languages at the same time like trust me i can happily learn five at the same time but right now i'm just like i just want big progress in one language very quickly like right now i would prioritize quick progress in one language rather than like 
having fun in many different languages and it just it just depends on like the phase of my life that i'm in because i kid you not probably like in four months you'll see me studying four new languages at the same time and that's fine can't wait till that period but right now i'm for some reason in like a super italian period i want to like really know italian well but we'll see i don't know maybe if i'm feeling this strong feelings towards dutch for another month maybe i'll pick it up but i genuinely think it's just kind of the beginner's excitement maybe going away a little bit and i'm like okay like i know all the basics basics of italian now like the harder things are coming in and i'm like trying to start a new language for the excitement of it anyway i don't know why i'm organizing my tomatoes into little stacks they're cute this way <laughs> okay well i'm gonna eat my dinner and then we're gonna go journal